Hi guys, summer is pretty much over. We're starting to get a little bit cooler weather every now and then. Of course, next week it's supposed to be in the 90s and I'm probably going to regret this. But in this video, I'll show you how I take down my Intex Ultra Frame swimming pool. It's the 16 by 48 inch. I made another video about how to set up this type of swimming pool. And I also made a video about how to maintain it. And this video is how I take it down and put it away for the winter. I'm not going to be showing you how to winterize this pool because we do not leave ours up. Even though we are in North Texas, we still get snow and we still get ice. In fact, sometimes we get a lot of ice. I go ahead and give the pool one last vacuuming because I don't want the debris on the bottom of the pool when I go to drain the pool. It makes it so much harder to clean it, so I'll get as much of the debris off as I can. Okay, so one of the first things that I like to do is go ahead and disconnect my equipment. I shut the plunger valves to make sure the water doesn't come out. I go ahead and clean the salt water chlorinator with vinegar to remove any of the deposits that may have accumulated. Now, the way that I drain the pool is not the way that it's recommended in the instruction booklet. In the instruction booklet, there's a little plastic piece that inserts into the drain plug hole. And this thing opens up the drain plug and lets the water flow through a hose. It's difficult for me to attach a hose to this thing because of the way the drain plug is kind of on the side and on slightly on the bottom of the pool and it makes it very difficult to insert it. So one of the best ways that I've found to do this is take a water hose, put one end into the pool and took the other end to the faucet. Turn the faucet on like full blast and it will get the air out of the hose and it creates a vacuum. You kind of let the water flow a little while into the pool. Then you leave one end in the pool. You don't move it, you don't take it out of the pool. But you unscrew the hose from the faucet and the pool water will drain through that end of the hose. So you can direct it anywhere you need to in the yard. Now I let my pool water drain on the grass it hasn't harmed the grass. I've been doing this probably five, maybe six years, draining this pool water onto the grass. There's not enough salt in it to kill anything, so it, it hasn't harmed the grass. As you can see, the grass is still quite green. And because the soil is usually pretty dry about the time that I go and do this, it doesn't run into anybody else's yard. The earth is just sucking it right up. So <laughs> I haven't had any problems with that. With this method, you can put as many hoses in the pool as you want to drain it as fast as you want. I put two. Now for the water that is left, I get out the shop vac, I jump into the pool with the shop vac, and I suction up whatever's left, 
until all of the little puddles are gone. Another tip if you're going to use this method is that I take out a section of the pool frame so that it's easier to dump out the water from the wet bag. And then I wipe everything down with a towel to get it as dry as possible. After that I leave it out in the sunshine to get it completely dry on the inside of the pool. I also go around and look for any holes that might be in the pool. Once I believe it's completely dry, I'll go ahead and start taking down the frame. Now because I have a few holes in the pool liner, I know that there's going to be water underneath it. So I need to flip the liner over and let the bottom side dry. I'm not going to want to do that where it's sitting right now because underneath it there's a lot of water. So I'm going to drag it over to a dry spot on the lawn and let it dry. I'm going to pull out the tarp and hang it so it can dry. I'm going to leave the blue tarp down. It's going to dry in the sun and I'm going to knead that area so that I can fold the liner once it's completely dry. And this is the way to fold the pool liner. Basically what you do is you fold in the sides to make a square shape. Then you fold two of the sides in towards the center and then you fold those sides again in half. No, I don't think that's right. <laughs> Just watch it. Okay, once that liner is folded all up, it's quite heavy. The easiest way to move it at this point is to drag it on the tarp to its final destination and be it a garage, a storage shed, your back porch, wherever you're wanting to store it. It's a good idea to put it into some sort of plastic container, which I don't have due to its sheer size. It's just too big. So we try to wrap it up in a tarp and put it away where the cats can't get it or mice because mice tend to like to get in there and chew them up and that's pretty much it I hope you found this video useful I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing you all take care out there and I will see you next time bye oh, it's gonna be